Morning traders, and this is your Aussie South African Top 40 day trade review for today. So, yesterday we ended up with another inside bar. So, the day before was pretty much an attempt at a piercing pattern. It's not quite a piercing, you'd like to see the close sort of halfway up this previous bar, um, which would give you the indication. You've got these two pin bars here where buyers stepped in in the same area. So, right now, you have a lot of interest clearly sort of in this area. Okay, you can see how the buyers are stepping in. Buy, 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 buy. Okay, that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. The trend is still down. If you look at your, your moving averages at the moment, they are pointing to the downside. So we've got a daily trend to the downside, but you do have diversions forming here. Okay, so you can see a low, higher low, okay, low, lower low. So there is diversions here. Looking at it on the daily, obviously looking for a break above these fractals here before you can start calling a trend change. But um, what we want to do is just start looking at the three hour. Okay, so we did get a bit of a gap up by the moving averages last week and went sideways most of the week and then we've dropped down um, into the next zone. So all my oscillators are sort of hovering in the middle. Never a good sign because that just means consolidation. Consolidation means it can go either way. So for right now, if we get rid of the noise, we've got this nice positive bar here. We've got another inside bar here. We've got some tails here. So the reality still is that's the level we need to get above. Okay. So we need a daily close above 48.710 before we can start looking at a trend change. If we start moving down to the hour, you'll see uh, yesterday looks like we've had a bit of a, a trend change on the hour. Um, obviously you'd want to see some confirmation. Now why I say it looks like it is there are a couple of trend lines but I'm going to take this one here. There it is there. So we've got that trend line or all Alternatively, I see that one we've had, that one we've broken, that one we've broken. So pretty much this is the next trend line here, which we bounced off. Okay, so there it is there. So remember, the first two bars, the first two fractals of any move is normally a trend line that is respected. Okay, and you can see how it was respected yesterday. We got there and we bounced off. So I would say that that is still your line in the sand. We need to get above the high of yesterday um, and get an hourly close above that. Then you still want to see a pullback to come and test the break. Okay, as it stands now, I'm expecting us to come back uh, either to test this, uh, this trend line break here, because this was a strong one. You can see one two, we had three, four bars that touched it. So to see if we can come back here and then another attempt there. But if you look at the oscillators, that's lining up with the same view that we need to be pulling back. Uh, if we just quickly look at what's happening on the rest of the market. So the US markets were slightly down yesterday, sort of half a percent. 10 cents down, one and a half percent right now. And the Rand dollar is sitting at 15.32. Nothing really happening there. So I kind of expect I'm kind of expecting this thing to I won't say roll over, but this sideways motion is probably going to continue. You can see how we went sideways for pretty much a whole week here. Then we had a bit of volatility, and now it's looking to me like we're going to be going sideways again. So what I'm meaning by that is that this level is going to be respected. Obviously, that's a level we need to get above, which is the high of yesterday. And you're probably going to find, looking to the left, that this is our zone. Okay, so here was our first zone here, where we sort of ambled up and down. And then here is my, our next zone. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm expecting. Expecting a downside move probably to, to come and test. If it's not the previous lows, then it's definitely going to be this area here. Okay, so that's 47,600. 
Uh, I just want to see if our closing range strategy is coming back into play. I know yesterday, it, uh, yesterday it did break the downside, but didn't really play out. And the day before was pretty much similar. And the day before it played out, but we couldn't have played it. So I don't think that's an option just yet. I look at your oscillators, they're all grouping the upside. Hit the trend line. So, you know, I do suspect it's uh, still another move to the downside. I just, I don't suspect it falling to the floor. That's the only thing. So you're probably going to find it's going to be a tough battle, pretty much similar type of price action. Now, as per the, the other markets, if you're really looking to get in on the action, the five minute chart is where the action is. And you can see even, well, day before it was a little bit clearer, but I mean, you probably you only had this little move here. I mean, it would have been difficult to catch all of this. Not improbable, uh, but uh, very difficult to catch it. And then look at the close. Look at all this indecision. Buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers. Nobody knowing what to do. Oscillators in the middle. Not something I want to trade. So anyway, for me, I'm looking for the higher time frames. And higher time frames, there's nothing really there. So I'm not going to be trading. So it'll be another day of wait and see. So it's pretty much looking like it's going to be another very slow week for me. Uh, but that's fine. You know, you'll make it up. You always make it up in another time. Never feel pressure to place a trade just for the sake of placing a trade. And I'm uncomfortable with what we see at the, mo at the moment. Okay. So anyway, guys, for me, it's sit on hands. Uh, unless something catastrophic comes out or some uh, news or catalyst comes out that's going to drive this market. For now... I'll sit and wait, uh, just keep checking in, look at the hour chart every now and then just until I see something that uh, is looking like a decent uh, level or a decent setup. Okay, anyway guys, that's it for me today. I hope it helps and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.